Hey, everybody. Thank you for checking out my new show, by the way, in conversation with Jeff Garland, uh, where I have conversations with uh, people that I assume, I'm assuming on your behalf that you'll find them interesting. These are great people. Uh, the shows were recorded in front of a live audience in Los Angeles at Largo. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Okay, for the first episode, the first episode, my guest is Larry David of uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld fame. And uh, Larry David is uh, the greatest, smartest, funniest man in the world. How's that for an opinion? I love the guy. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoy our conversation. I know I did big time. Thanks. What are these for? Do we talk into these? No, they're just up. They'll we pick, pick us it up. up. They'll pick us up. It's we don't, great. I don't pick it up. No, nope. you just you just you just stay stay where you're at. Be cool, and it'll pick up everything you say. Okay. All the nuances that are you. Can I tell you something? Yes. I don't trust it. <laughs> I really don't trust it. I, I'd I'd like to have something on me. Oh, one of the things where they like, yeah, yeah, one of those things, yeah. yeah. And you know what? I don't trust those either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always screaming. <laughs> I swear to God, I, you know, I, I go on these shows, you know, like a TV show, an interview show, and, and, you know, they got microphones coming down all over, and they put something on me, and still, I don't know I'm talking to people at home, I think I'm talking just to the people in the audience, you know, so I'm screaming my answers all the time, it's ridiculous. Do you know, I, I get criticized on our, our show for yelling a lot, for like, talk yelling. Well, you Does scream. it bother you? Is that something you notice? You're yelling? But you know, like when I get like all caught up, I start, no. I raise my voice. No. It's nothing that bothers you or... No, everybody yells. What do you mean? No, but they say, I like uh, the criticism, you know. This is no good. I got to get... Cl oh, that's good. <laughs> no, you can't. Just leave it. I'm telling you. I, I can't. I'm not, they don't hear me. I no. can hear you. You look like an idiot. Huh? You look like an idiot. We we'll do the whole thing like this. You do the whole thing oh, like yes, this. Yes, Jeff, I agree. Now, by the way. Oh, uh, perhaps. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like yeah. we're on a panel, like yeah. some judicial panel, you know. But I imagine in the 40s or something, old radio, you had to be like this. Yeah, well, the, you know, the congressional hearings, they, they lean in like that. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever fantasized about being in a congressional hearing and, and leaning forward and saying, uh, I uh, declined to answer that. I think everybody has that fantasy. I know I have. Uh, I totally have. Yeah. By the way, you were yeah. talking about um, cameras. Yeah. And do you know that I've never owned a camera in my life? <laughs> I've never taken a picture. I you know, know that. Life. No, uh, this never, is true. I, I freaked out about I, it. I have no me. record of my life. My, my father didn't own a camera. Any picture that I have is just luck, you know? What are you doing? Taking your picture. Um, here, just look at me one. He's, he's used it. I take pictures all the time on yeah. the set. I've always got a camera. What do people do with all these pictures that they take? I don't understand. I burn them. Huh? What is no. that? I, I think it's just... <laughs> Only you, you know. would have a theory of a. I've never taken a picture. Yeah. Never taken a picture. No, never Think taken about a picture. that. Yeah. Even yeah. and then number two, what do people do yeah. with all these pictures? Well, I don't know. What do they do with them? Well, they. So there's how much can, can you look at? What are you? What are you looking at? Uh -huh. What is there to see? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, I was fishing that day. Big shit. Big shit. Look at us fishing! Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was fishing yeah. that day! Alright, well, I hope that what I do is not snapshots. Because I've, I've gotten some shots of you that hopefully will be in a book someday that are amazing. Amazing. There's one... Amazing? I, oh, amazing in no, what sense? Oh, alright. I have one where... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what episode was. It was we were in New York, and I said to you, you're not going to remember this, but I said to you, we were at the maybe, table. Maybe I will. 
I will be shocked. Let's see. You don't Let's remember see. shit. Yeah. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. I only remember the bad things. Yeah. Oh, do you I ever? can remember every insult from the time I was three years old. Every single one. Yeah. Everyone. I know. <laughs> you probably don't know much of what I say to you because it's generally very nice. Oh, well, that's sweet. But go ahead. Let's, let's okay. see. It. So, um, we were eating lunch. You were sitting across from me. And I didn't tell you why. I go, do me a favor. Just, just sit like this. And you did, and I took a picture, and yeah. what happened was his uh, body double, who was dressed just like him and looked like you, was a good 50 yards behind you up in these stands, sitting like this. <laughs> and you're sitting like this, yeah. and I have, you know, you're in focus, and he's blurry, but it looks like there's two of you. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite. It's maybe the best picture I've ever taken. And all I did was just had time to do this. It was great. And I shot it with a Leica M3 on film. I, I For anyone who gives a shit. I, I don't know what that means. I know you don't know what that means. But body double? Not being like, like, like a guy who's supposed to look like you. What was, what was the thing? That, you know, not like, the, yeah, for a sex scene. No, for, for a... What, 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 there oh, was a, for a stunt. For, was it a stunt? For he a was stunt. There? He didn't seem like a stunt no, man. What's a, what, what do you mean a body double? What, I don't remember. Bo well, why do I, I need I, a body double? I'm trying to remember the circumstance. It must have been a stunt. He wasn't a stunt man. I'm telling you, he wasn't a stunt man. He was, he was just not a stunt man. <laughs> We've had stuntmen for you before. I remember when they're stuntmen. I've never heard this term before. In, in, uh, what, body double? To me, a body double, yeah. Well, like the guy looked like you when he was dressed. He wasn't just a guy hanging oh, out. Oh, a bald guy with glasses? Bald guy with glasses. <laughs> yeah, no, but he looked so much like you, especially from a distance. Oh, my God. Let me ask you this question. And I will answer it. Go ahead. Please answer this question. Please. Yeah. Uh, somebody comes up to you. Uh, they meet you online in a movie or on the street or whatever, and, uh -huh. you know. And they go, oh my God, you look so much better in person than you do on TV. Is that a compliment? As someone who receives that, that statement constantly, no, it is not. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is not. Just be happy to see me. Don't tell me yeah. whether I look better one or the other. I know. You know, so, some, somebody said that to me the other day. I said, do you think that's a compliment? You tell me I look like shit on TV? Well, why, 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 why does that make me feel good? By the way, not that many people see me in life. Millions are watching on TV. I'd rather look better on TV. Yeah, people come up and say the weirdest shit, you know. Have people come up to you ever? I mean, I've gotten this one before. I don't like your show. <laughs> and I, and I, immediately I go, well, you know what? I don't remember asking you. Oh, my God. I generally don't get it that directly. What I will get is, um, my, my husband loves your show. Yeah. <laughs> I said... I said that once to Michael Feinstein. I said, my mom loves you. Yeah. And immediately I felt bad because yeah. the insinuation was there. Because the implication yeah. is there, right. Yeah. Is the implication that I should be saying, not yes. insinuation? Yes, what's, yeah. insi what's insinuation? I'm insinuating something. What is it, same thing or no? It's close. <laughs> By the way, this is something we, I always ask you that. Yeah. I'm, I'm very vulnerable yeah. when it comes to uh, using correct English and... Uh, um, cause remember nebulous and uh, whatchamacallit we were discussing one time, which, which was obtuse, obtuse and nebulous. <laughs> Do you know, by the way, uh, besides him not taking pictures, he and I have made a hundred bets over the years. And I'm not exaggerating when I tell you, I've never won one of them. Too. <laughs> never. Anything. Not one. And it's fucked up. And I pay him. And he has so much more money than me. And I pay him. Every, I don't think twice. I pay. Well, of course you pay. Yeah. And I'm also, and also, I'm a big go out to lunch with you guy who who will pay and legitimately offer to pay. And I see the other all the time. The fake, uh, you know. Uh, oh, the, this move. Yeah. yeah. It's so slow that move. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> You're happy to. 
You're happy, huh? Who wouldn't be happy? I'm always happy to treat. Not, not you. I'm just saying my friends and stuff. Honestly, I'm not always happy. <laughs> really? Well, why should I be so happy? What's so pleasing about it? <laughs> well, Would you what, ever... what is so delightful about paying for 12 people? I don't get it. Uh, well, why does that thrill me with joy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that it would thrill you with joy, yeah, but yeah. you don't feel it. That's, oh, you can admit financially you're oh, in an well, area well, no. where you don't feel that. No, I don't, I don't feel it, okay? Yeah. I don't feel it, but what am I paying for all these people for? You know, what do you want from me? You're, you're totally right. Uh, fuck. Uh, now. What? <clears throat> musical instruments? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you give an opinion? Because you've sat next to me with the saxophone. Yeah, right. And you... Are you still playing the piano? No, I'm not. No. Because you were taking lessons. I was very impressed I, with I that. Took less, I took piano lessons from 9 to 12. Right. That's uh, not the era I'm talking about. You took it later. Yeah, on. yeah. I took it from nine to twelve, and then I took it from twenty-seven to twenty-nine. Again, not the era I'm talking about. Yeah. What? Are, what? Are, what are you talking about? You were you were taking piano lessons a few years ago, three, four years ago. Oh yes, I did it again. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, As if I'm uh, yeah. remembering. Didn't you yeah. take piano lessons at twenty-nine? Yeah. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. I took it a few years ago. You did. Yeah, but I I, I can't play one song. I cannot so play you one stop song. playing? Yeah, I right, cannot. So, so what is your opinion with me and instruments? Uh, uh, First of all, yeah. I was tickled. Tickled that you were trying to play the saxophone. And the key word you're saying there is trying, because I wasn't yes. very good. He was awful. <laughs> oh, you were I awful. really was. No, you're awful. I know. Awful. It was terrible. But it didn't, you know what? It should have, anybody else, my, any other next door neighbor doing that huh. would have driven me mad. But I didn't mind it coming from you. You know, that's very kind of you. I, I, I thought it was. I thought, look at this guy he's sitting in his trailer, trying to play the saxophone. I was, because yeah. we have a lot of time in our trailers, you yeah. know. And I did say to you, please, if you're napping or you, want to nap, you, you know, did. You did say I'm that. A considerate young right. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, but what are your what are your thoughts? Do you think I should continue that? Go to piano. No. Go, don't you, give up the sax. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so sax is uh, yeah. it's going to my local music store, and right. it'll be on, what do they call it? Consignment, right? Yeah, consignment. Someone else will get the joy. Do you think you have any musical talent? I don't have a fucking clue. So, like, I, kn I knew you, you from the would time... Know, you would know if you had any talent. Like, you said you've tried guitar, right? Yes, yes. You would have known... I even played fake guitar in a movie. Okay, you would have known if you had some talent for the guitar. It doesn't take long to discover that you have something, okay? I have nothing. You played piano. Did you have any talent for that? Yeah, some. Wh wh how do you know? I don't know. Huh? I, I don't know. So why you The way you... I knew when I was like four or five that I was funny, I don't know that musically. Okay. I don't have that same vibe. Can I tell you something? Yes. You would have had the vibe if, if you were any good. You would have. Yeah. Okay. You don't have it. Okay. <laughs> So you're saying? So you're saying? I don't, I'm, I don't have it. I have. I can't. Honestly. Yeah. I. I, I have no talent. There's nothing I can do, other than write those stupid little scripts. That's it. Right. You know what I mean? No. I. I no. That's I, it. Who that's understands it. better than me? Yeah, yeah. I can't do anything. So you think I'd be a happier person if I just threw the music thing out the window and enjoyed playing uh, albums the way I do? Well. I can play albums, can't I? No, no, no. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> I didn't have talent for the piano. Yeah. But as long as nobody's listening to you, yeah. it's fine to do it. Okay, so the piano's okay if no one can if hear it's me. It's private, yeah. I can do private piano. Yeah. I would never want to play publicly anyhow. That would be that's too short. I'm show not even often. talking publicly, I'm talking about like my two, wife and your kids. wife and kids, yeah. yeah. I'm, not yeah. I'm not talking about public on the street. Yeah. Well what I'll do is I'll keep piano going. I just started taking lessons about a week ago. And I'll keep piano I used to take as a kid. I'll to keep piano going, and the minute that someone's bothered by it, I'll stop. Okay, that's a deal. <laughs> but what's the, we actually have this exact conversation. That was every day. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't play that. I, don't want, I won't do it. By the way, a nice room for stand-up. Would you like to do stand-up here? If, if, if I had an act? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it would be good. Yeah. I don't have an act. 
now, but because it takes time to put yeah. it together. Yeah, I've been trying to write some material. And? Well, I have it in notebooks, but the idea of kind of putting the whole thing together and coming out, how are you doing? fills <laughs> <laughs> me with dread. Yeah. But you don't have to ask them how they're doing. No, I, I would just. Yeah. Did you ever ask them back no, in the day how, never, how you're doing? You never, never asked never. an audience That's how you're doing. That's one of the reasons why I was so bad at it. Because you never cared how I, they were doing? I couldn't come out and, and do the things that comedians do to, make, to get the audience on my side. You know, like most comedians would come out and they would go, hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. Hey, how are you? Come on, come on, you do everybody. Uh, if you yeah. ever did that back then, just yeah. like that, yeah. thinking back, yeah. I would have oh, been on the floor. Everybody did it. Everybody did it. Hey, come out. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> doing. I wasn't interested how they were doing. I'm sure they were doing fine the way everybody's doing. I mean, they're in a nightclub. Yeah, they must they be doing paid, okay. They're doing okay. They paid to get in. Yeah. They're there to see the show. I always hate, are you ready for more? Yeah. For the MCs, you know, are you ready for your next act? No, we're, you know, give me five minutes. <laughs> let me just yeah. get my bearings and let me see if I really want to be here tonight. Because I'm not yeah. sure and the next act may ruin that all for me. And I lacked uh, comedic social graces. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> I think that as a person, being a close friend of yours, that you have great personal uh, social graces uh, in terms of your... <laughs> Is that from golf or what's going no, on? First of all, they're only seeing one side of me. <laughs> All right, just stay there. Stay there. Uh, pretend, don't pretend. No, no, stay there. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. You know what we should do? What's that? We should switch seats. Yeah. Do you really want to? I'll be happy to. <laughs> it would be so great to be able to do it, though, wouldn't it? Oh, my God. Can you play anything? Uh, no. That I can tell by the way you said that there's something you can play. You don't have to. I wouldn't do that no, to you. I, I, no. But but there is something you can't play. There was a time when, when I was able to do a couple of th a couple of things. And tell me what those were. I played I, um, I played a, a, maybe twelve bars from a Chopin waltz. Really? Yes. Okay. I played I played a very easy version. This is from when I was twelve. Okay. okay. Of um, Rhapsody in Blue, but but only only like a you know a couple of uh, the opening the opening uh -huh. chords yeah mm -hmm. that's it those two you a big Gershwin fan you like Gershwin I do I do like Gershwin do you ever at home put on Gershwin and just sit down and relax I never put anything on at home. <laughs> I know that was a setup yeah. question because I know that flat out yeah when was the last time you put on music and just listened to it oh. You can't remember, can you? No, I have no idea. I remember laughing really, really hard uh, in our But show. by the way, how do you sit and listen to it? Uh, is this what you're proposing? That I put music on. I just go mime it. Okay, I mime put it. music on. No, mime okay, I'm going to mime it. I'm putting the music on. <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> and this is what. Come back here. Come back here. Here's what doesn't work about the audio, because they can only see what an idiot you look like. What are you not? What are you, a hundred? Is that how you put it on? That's not how you put it, you just put it in. You just stand with your regular posture. What the heck? It's usually, it's usually very low. Okay. 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 Uh, okay, and now... I'm sitting down on my couch. Yeah. 
and the music's on. And what am I supposed to be doing? Nothing, just enjoying the music. Oh, just... my God. Really? You uh, can't do that? Oh, I'd be shaking, yeah. I'd be going, okay, come on, hurry up, get through the song. Get through the song? Get, yeah, get, get to the next one, finish this up, and let me do something I like. Yeah. All right, what would, it, what would you be doing that you like? The song's over, album's over, boom, it only lasted three minutes, the whole okay. CD yeah. or album. Mm -hmm. What would you do that you like? What do you like to do? Um, I like to do crossword puzzles. Now, why couldn't you do a crossword puzzle while Gershwin's playing? Because I'd be too distracted. I'd be going, da 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 So you'd be enjoying the music? Yeah, but not enough that, that, it's, that it's giving me... I, I'm enjoying it as a, as a distraction. It's just a distraction. So you'd be distracted I'd from I'd be distracted from it, yeah. So I know you do love crossword puzzles. What else? Name something else. That I like? Yeah. I like, I like to read. Okay. Can you read with classical music playing? No. No. So you, 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 the utter silence. Utter silence. Right. But you do like to read. I know that. I can't read if I hear a, a, a neighbor. I can't read. What would your neighbor be the, saying? The worst, thing in the, the worst thing in the world yeah. for me is hearing music from a neighbor. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I fucking want to... I want to kill him! Kill him! That's the worst thing in the world. I, Even if it's Gershwin? It doesn't matter what it is. If it's Gershwin, I'll hate Gershwin immediately. Yeah. Really? Yes, yes. That is so... Oh, How often have I you can't had think that? Of any, what, When's the last time that happened? It, it happens from time to time. You know, in, in my, I, I, I moved into this house, and you never know what you're moving into because... Yeah, your neighbors are reasonably close. Yes, but yeah. you, you don't know who's in that house. No, you don't. Yeah. You, you don't know... Have you been since disappointed? I'm, I'm, I've got kids on both sides. Uh-huh. Okay? And I hear, I hear the kids... <laughs> Wait, you have kids, too. They're, but they're mine! <laughs> you know, uh -huh. these are someone else's kids. <laughs> hey, 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 swimming! <laughs> <laughs> Kids would just randomly yeah. yell what yeah. they're doing yeah. and what they're about to do. They'll just go, oh, swimming, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, running, yeah. bicycle. Anyway, I, I just, I, I don't like hearing other humans, you know what I mean? Other humans. Yeah. Doesn't matter if they're kids or adults, mm -hmm. and, and especially what's going on in their house, which is the music that they're playing. Right. And I don't understand, <clears throat> really, how people can, can do that knowing they have neighbors. Listening to music. Yes, knowing you have a neighbor who can hear that. But wait, I, I mean, are they turning it up really loud or is it just normal volume? That I don't know. <laughs> I don't well, know. I mean, you should have an idea of like, oh, that's rude, I, that's really loud, or, oh, I can hear that, that sucks. Both. I hear it both ways. Yeah. Well, yeah. one of them, they're entitled to listen to music. No. <laughs> no. They're not. No, not when you live that close to somebody. No. They don't live right on top of you. It's not like you're in a, a if you're, tenement if you're, if in If Brooklyn. you're in a summer camp in the bunk, okay? Yes, if I'm in the bunk if in you're the in the summer bunk camp. in the summer camp. Yes, I'm going and, with and it. And you got, you got your, your transistor radio. <laughs> Yeah, I got my transistor radio and I'm picking up a uh, ball game from across the river. Go ahead. Uh, what are you, are you talking about? Transistor? Are you turning it up really high so everybody can hear it? Are you turning it? Or, if it's or, a ball game, or everybody's you, or, interested. Or, is it, or you got an earplug in. I got so, the earplug, generally. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Let them put earplugs in. In their home? Yeah, in their home, with, yeah. So basically, you want your neighbors to walk around with a transistor radio yes. with an earplug. Yes, like they're in a bunk. Yeah. To hear... Uh, <laughs> To hear what's going on like they're in a bunk <laughs> you would like something else you enjoy I, I just like hearing things you enjoy I know you like reading crossword puzzles what else um, baseball I like to watch baseball yes football football so now when you're mm -hmm. watching these games do you have headphones on or could your neighbors hear the games no, neighbors, <laughs> neighbors can't hear the game I'll tell you what else I enjoy and I got this from you when we were in New York last year. I went to I went to his uh, his um, apartment. Yeah. And he had on he was watching an old movie, 
with Edward G. Robinson, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Scarlet Street. Scarlet Street, yeah. And I went, hey, this is good. What, 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 what is this? What station is this? And you told me it was Turner, Turner Classic, Classic Movies. Turner yeah. Classic Movies. And I didn't even know about it. <laughs> and and I've, been watching, I've been watching that for the last year. I love that. Love it. Yeah. We're going to play a fun game with the audience right now. Okay. I want you, just raise your hand, I'll call on you. Just say something that you think Larry should know. <laughs> something, because it never fails to surprise me. Oh, uh, what's that? Most recently, Yahoo. Um, he wanted to know what this Yahoo was, because we're doing fantasy football. And he went, what is this Yahoo? <laughs> so if someone could just mention something in today that, yes. A com he knows what a computer yeah. is, sir. If you're gonna, you know, please. What, what is that? I, I don't like this game. He, he doesn't like this game. Game over, turn the lights back down. I only want him to be uh, comfortable. He's nice. Of a, com a computer. How did you get a front row seat? What went ahead? What's that? Well, that's just a dumb show. No, I've, I've heard of that show. You've heard of that show? I've heard of it. You've not watched it? No. No. Have you, have you ever turned on the show and were surprised that you liked it? Well, you went, oh, this is good. Besides I'm sure, classic movies. I'm sure it's possible. Sure. Yeah. But you can't think of an example of ever of like, oh, that's pretty good, that show. Um, sometimes my kids will watch a show. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit down, you know, just to spend some time with them. I know, I know that you watched, I don't know if you still watch it, but you watched for years American Idol. Right. Yeah. Are you still watching American Idol? I watched it last season. Okay, because yeah. the joy of you watching American Idol yeah. and, and being gripped I, into and, it and makes my me kids, so... My kids watch this show from uh, Canada about a high school. <laughs> oh, I love Degrassi. Degrassi, yeah. 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 Have you watched Degrassi? I, I, I watched Degrassi with the kids. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A friend of mine, Steve Agee, cannot get enough of Degrassi. <laughs> Fabulous show, yeah, Degrassi. Okay. <laughs> He said By the this. way, can I tell you this? Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, of course. Any high school thing I love. Right. Any high school stuff. My dad high used school... to watch Saved by the Bell. Did you watch Saved by no, the Bell? No, I didn't like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> high school movies. Uh -huh. I love high school movies. Really? Yeah, like what was that Tina Fey high school movie? Oh, Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Really Any, good. Anything like that. I love right. that stuff. Yeah. If you came across that young man, what's that actress's name who's got problems? Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. So you, you, have you ever crossed paths with Lindsay Lohan? No. Has she tried no. to date you or anything no. like that? Uh -uh. <laughs> no, it's, it's so, that's so possible because I've been with you and women throw themselves at you. That, that's ridiculous. Why no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. No, they, but not, look, not every one of them do, but I've seen it happen. All right. <laughs> I just got him to do a spit take for those of you listening. Can I tell you something? No kidding around. That is a new comedic convention, the delayed spit take. I have never seen that. I have never. And that was legit. I'm going to tell you what. He's got one move that he does. You know, we all have moves. He's got one move that kills me all the time. And his move is, he does this thing. That, that slays me, that <laughs> I wasn't even aware of that. That's yeah. cool. I remember uh, uh, Shakira. Uh, I, I worked with... Do you know who Shakira is? No. Okay. Um, she's, uh, I believe, from uh, Colombia, maybe Brazil. Where's she from? Oh, wait. She's a singer. Yeah. She was on... Uh, uh, who, uh, what's the name of that show I'm on? Wizards. Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah. She was on there and she was playing me. But she had seen every episode of Curb. Yes. Did you, didn't, you, didn't you tell me that? I told yeah, you okay. that. And she, uh, she was imitating me doing like, you know, like yeah. she, she knew my moves, which was funny to me. She had a great ass. It was ridiculous. <laughs> no, it was wrong. It was a big ball of wrong. It was just so... It was fantastic. It was, it was stuff that dreams are made of. <laughs> You know what? You know what? I, I've learned about myself that I didn't know, like, 
I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? What? And it's, I, obviously it's been going on my whole life. I have no ass. <laughs> I don't have an ass. Same thing, my friend. You think it's a Jew thing, maybe? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I mean, is it... First, when somebody said it to me once, I thought it was a good thing, you know? Oh, I don't but have an ass. But you've got enough, by the way. This is good. You have enough. Uh, not that I've sat, sat and stared at your ass for too long. For a short time, I will. Um, no. Your, your ass is normal. Oh, thank you very much. It's a normal ass. My ass is normal. It's a normal ass. There's, there are people you see who truly have no ass, and it's kind of weird. It's almost like they're walking with like a pelvis forward, and, and there's like a... You don't have that. I've been around you in your underwear. You're fine. Okay. I wouldn't right. worry about it. Okay. I'm not yeah. worried. No, don't even think about <laughs> yeah. it. It's never... So when did you, like, recently you've started thinking about this, or no? No. Um, you, you brought it up. Uh, I'm I trying didn't bring to, up no ass. You, you said, brought it up. You said ass. You said ass. Oh, I said she has a great ass. Yeah. Oh, that's so you that said the word ass, ass, and then it triggered that. We're having a conversation. Yeah, but when I think of a... And when you say something, I try and say okay. something. That's the way uh, you've been uh, interacting. Yeah, but if you were works. telling me about I'm some interacting. Ass, yeah. if you were telling me about someone who had a, a really fantastic ass, I wouldn't immediately go to my own ass. Well, you, you said the word ass. You reminded me of my own ass. <laughs> All right. If you were talking about glasses, I would say, oh, yeah, boy, I got a pair of glasses, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, what's that word, that narcissistic? <laughs> that you take everything and sort of make it yourself. Oh, now you're saying I take everything. Yeah. No, you don't take it. I just said that is referred yes. to. You're, do you, you actually what, said... What, what is this? That's just a bonus recorder. It's recording oh, this, too. Because oh, okay. they're recording up there, these okay. things. I just thought... Okay. You know, by the way, remember you said you didn't trust? Yeah. That's what this is. I've had too many I things still, happen. I still wish it was a little closer. I still feel like I'm, I'm expending too much effort. <laughs> I just want to be one of those guys who just kind of sits and talks like this. You know? But you can with that. No, not really. Listen, listen you can't really. No, you are. If, 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 no, talk, no, say no, something. No, here, here's my ideal way of talking. If okay. Could, okay. Ask me a question. Um, what did you think of the puppet show? Well, you know what, in terms of uh, puppet... <laughs> See, I, that's how I'd like to talk, but... Uh, but you could, but no, you, sound like, no, you sound like an idiot. No, Ask me a question. No, Ask me a question, no, no. I'm going to do your version of how you'd like to talk, okay? <laughs> You go ahead and ask me a question. Ask me any question and I'll, and I'll do it. And they'll be able to hear it and it'll work, but it just sounds crazy. Go ahead. Who takes your shirts in for cleaning? <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, um, I've got two people. I've got Tony, he picks it up about 7 a.m. He picks up a stack of shirts and he brings them over to yeah. the uh, shirt. Yeah. What's, well, you could do that if you wanted to, but no, you'd be I, sounding strange. I don't, say, I don't think... It's I, almost like uh, no, Glenn Close and Madonna with their English accent. It's sort of you doing this sort of laid-back, tea-drinking broadcaster. What? Uh, i got to tell you something. We're going to go uh, next Tuesday to... What, what did you say about Glenn Close and Madonna? What was that? Over the years, they've been known to have an English accent even though they're both not English. <laughs> have you never heard them do that before? It's great. I mean, it's great because you can make fun of it. <laughs> Madonna, long before she even like lived in England, this was a festival of something she started doing. How, what, have you ever heard Madonna's music? Mm. <laughs> no. I, I, I love asking him these things because he's totally... I mean, think about that. He's no. never taken a picture. He's never taken a picture. Do you know anyone? I do. I know... If someone is there, do you know someone who hasn't taken a picture? I do. Is he, like, living in a cave? No, he's a very intelligent man. He's out all the time. He's never taken a picture. You know what I put a lot of thought into tonight? What's it? Socks? My socks. Yeah. <laughs> Because I knew I was going to be sitting like this and my socks were going to be visible. Mm -hmm. And I opened up the sock drawer before I picked out a pair of socks. And I thought, I'm, I'm going to go with the grays tonight. I think, I think they're going to work. They do. Yeah. This, this is a fabulous sock. This particular sock. Who, who makes that sock? I, I don't know, but I just, I love the length. I love the color. I wish every sock I have, I, I love the thickness. I wish everyone could be exactly like this. Now, did you 
Did, did you buy those socks or did someone buy them for you? Someone bought it for you. What? What? I did not buy them. <laughs> they were bought for me. So, wouldn't you be curious to ask whoever bought? Well, where did you get those? Those are great socks. Like, yeah, what if the next no, pair you, you pull know, out you know, are not so good? My uh, my assistant got them on the on the internet. Socks.com. Like, where did you get your socks? I don't know. I don't know. It's not even worth asking her because I'm going to ask her tomorrow. I was okay. like, where did you get Larry's well, ask socks? Her, ask her. And she'll tell me. Yeah. What have you found out there, like J.C. Penney's uh, um, socks of the day? <laughs> what, what do you mean? What would be wrong with that? No, just the fact J.C. Penney's socks of the day. <laughs> not that J.C. Penney would be low quality. Is not this, that even is very, this a knock on J.C. Penney? On many levels, yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in J.C. Penney in my life. In your life either? Yeah, I don't think so. So the idea of you walking to J.C. Penney, taking a picture and leaving, that's never happened. Yeah. I don't think you know what else I haven't done? Oh, this could be good. Go ahead. I've never put money in a jukebox. What's fantastic about that is that A, that you took note of that. Yeah. B, that you were around a jukebox and you said either not me <laughs> or you didn't have change every time you're near a jukebox. It just seemed like a total waste of a quarter. <laughs> because what would be happening? Because the song would come on and it would be over before you knew it. So what if the song... <laughs> What if the song repeated over and over and over again? The same song for a quarter. Would that be distracting? To tell you the truth, it always puzzled me why people did that. Put money in jukeboxes? Yeah, it always puzzled me, yeah. Would you like to ask somebody who's put money in jukeboxes before? Yeah. 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 You? Yeah, go ahead. Why, why? Why would you do it? Because I like listening to a song and before you know it, the song's over. <laughs> I do. I just love that feeling, that fleeting, <laughs> that fleeting few moments of enjoyment, and then it's out the window, man. And it's just small talk about the egg salad. You know, like the ones at the table. Oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm laughing a lot. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'll slow it down. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry if, uh, are you, have you all right let me ask you something because I I, I, I I love the way you dress it's very comfortable thank you very much do you remember well, like when was the last time you remember like wearing something and being very uncomfortable that's a great question <laughs> I know questions that you like that's a good one go ahead that's a fantastic okay, question okay go ahead he's not he's not being sarcastic he's, he's going to think about it when I know. Was it wool or something? Or I can remember the shirt. You remember a shirt? Go ahead. I remember the shirt. Too small? I was in New York. I didn't have, you know, I just packed a suitcase. The mixing and matching wasn't working, you know. It, it didn't work. Oh, yeah. so you wore something that you thought you looked stupid in. No, as I, wasn't, opposed to I, not I, wasn't, being... I wasn't comfortable in it. The fabric. I, I didn't like the shirt. Yeah. And you packed it? Uh, you know, I screwed up. <laughs> Who packs a shirt they don't like? I used to like it, and it's worn out its welcome, yeah. Hold on. On the plane trip, whatever <laughs> happened on the plane made you go, yeah. oh, fuck, I brought that shirt. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it yeah. anymore. Yeah, because I remember it used to be in, in you know, one, one of my favorites. I remember wearing it, you know, on, on television a couple of times, and now I don't like it anymore. It happens. What are you going to do? 
I didn't know. But it was that quick that the change took place. Yes, yes, it was that fast. And then what did you do with the shirt? Did you pack it and take it back, or did you uh, give it away? Did you toss it? What did you do? I'm, I'm sure I still have it. I didn't toss it. <laughs> I bet you do still have it. You know it. what? It takes, it takes years. Even when you know you're never going to wear something again, it takes years before you can actually part with it. I find. I find I just give it away. I actually at my shows, you know, I give away stuff. Do you? Yeah, I give away clothes, computers, um, DVDs. I give away everything that I have. Really? Because I have too much shit. Too much. Yeah. So I just give it away. It makes you feel so good. It's like losing weight. It just feels good to be unencumbered and prune. So you never prune your stuff? No, I do. I do. I do. Not, I don't give it to an audience. No, but I'm saying, what would you do with it? You prune, you're like, what would you prune and where would you put it? Who would you give it to? i give it to uh, uh, my housekeeper. <laughs> a shirt you no longer like? Like, what, that, like that particular shirt, what are you hanging on to it for? Why would you not give that to your housekeeper? You know what? Yeah? I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to reevaluate that shirt tomorrow based on, based on this conversation. And I, and I just might do that. The problem is, and honestly, don't, let's not talk about this. Let's keep this in this room. I have a housekeeper who comes on Wednesday, and I have another housekeeper who comes on Friday. Uh -huh. And they both have sons who are sort of my size. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I don't want them knowing that I gave one something and not the other one. And it's a huge problem. So a lot of times I'll just wind up not giving anything. You know? So that's why you're keeping shirts yes, you don't like. Yes, yes, yes. Do you walk in your closet and see the shirt you don't like and it upsets you? Or do you just ignore it and you go to what you like? I, I, I ignore it, I move on. You don't pay attention at no, all? No, no. I just know I'm never going to wear that for the rest of my life. You know. <laughs> I stopped giving you gifts yeah. because I'll ask you years later, did you ever use that or where is that? And you have no idea. Everything I've ever given you, where, where is that? I don't but, know. By the way, What's the that? gift, the phony gift response. Hold on, hold on a hold, second. Hold on, no, this is this is Phony not, this, gift this, response. Hold on, no, okay. uh, this is a different subject. Okay. <laughs> the phony gift response that people have to go through every single day you know, not somebody doesn't go through it every day, but everybody goes through it mm -hmm. all the time. That, oh, oh, look, oh, look what you got me. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, that's great. You know, it's, it's so stupid, you know. Why can't, why can't we just go, yeah, you, you, you tried. <laughs> Thank you for trying. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Uh, I'm sorry. That, that's what I love about the show. Uh -huh. doing the sh that's what I love about doing the show. Because you get to do those that things. I get, that I get to do those things. And, and I cannot tell you. I can't even describe to you the pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure that gives me to just have a moment of honesty in my life, albeit fictional, okay? It just, there's nothing that feels better to me than a moment like that on the show, where I could be honest with somebody. <clears throat> but, uh, no, I'm just saying. I'm no, just yeah, saying. I know you're just yeah. saying. Yeah. So you're, you basically, when I give you shit or we spend time, you're just being full of shit the whole time? Or what's going no, on? No, I mean, some, I, I, sometimes I could like it. I'm just saying a, a lot of, you know. know. Yeah, what, what? But not even gifts, just like moment of honesty. So are you not honest off camera? No, I'm talking about gifts in particular. Oh, yeah. In particular, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. But there are other circumstances. There are many other circumstances. They're all full of shit all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, what are you saying? Everybody's full of shit all the time. Can't be helped. You have to. You have to get along in this world. That's and that's the way to do it. So you're saying. <laughs> you're saying, the show is almost like a version of you, if you chose not to get along with the world. The show is an idealized version of me. Right. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess it is, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of it, but... 
I'm just looking at, uh, we've been up here 51 minutes. You're kidding, really? Uh, well, 50, actually 49 minutes. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. Do you want to get something to eat later? No. <laughs> By the way, there won't be another discussion backstage of me going, really, do you want to go? Because he just answered. He doesn't really want to. You going to eat at home? I'll go home. I'll snack a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that. That's what you want in Friends. Just as, like, I remember I, I, I told you ahead of time that my son's bar mitzvah, you wouldn't be invited? Yes. Yes. He was so nice. He was so great to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But by the way, he didn't how often do you say like, that was so fantastic? You know. And but most people, you understand, it would be the reverse. Of course. Why was I not invited yeah. to your son's bar mitzvah? Yeah. I'm not good enough. What's going on? Yeah. You, you're thrilled. You're not. Good oh enough. God. <laughs> so but that's, thrilled. But that's our friendship. Why? Not, uh, why? Know. Why would an adult? Okay. <laughs> why? Why are you inviting your friend to your son's bar mitzvah? I don't understand. What's the point? Do they want to be at that temple for two hours? Do they want to be at the reception with the, with the music and the disc jockey? No. Have you, have you ever gone to temple and enjoyed yourself? <laughs> have you ever gone and went, oh, that rabbi was great. I had a good time and... Felt a little more religious than maybe other times. Any, any good uh, temple moments besides us filming where, the where, where I walked out, where I walked out of the temple and, and, and said to myself, "Boy, I'm glad I went to that." So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that, was, that wasn't as bad as I thought. It's possible that I said that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it's impossible that I said, I'm glad I went. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Because I think I may have said that once or twice. That's about it. But you, there's no chance, I know. Yeah. Do you ever go swimming? No. Nope. <laughs> But you have gone swimming. I have gone swimming, yes. yes. I have gone swimming. But you've not gone swimming in a long time. I, I didn't go... Uh, I haven't been swimming in probably a, a year. Yeah. Has a thing aired about um, Eat, Pray, Love yet? Has that aired on the show yet this year? Yes. Yes. Was that already aired? Which yes. episode was that in? Five. Five. Um, that came from a real conversation that we had because where we were staying in New York across the street was this giant Eat, Pray, Love poster. And I said to him, I said, what, how much money would it take for you to go see Eat, Pray, Love? And, and he said, am I broke? I go, no, you're not broke. You're who you are, and you have to go see Eat, Pray, Love. And he thought about it for a good 45 seconds, mind you. He went, and I let him think. I didn't interrupt. Uh, $3,000. And, so, and, and it ended up being in the show. You brought it up on the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You brought it up on the show. And, and what did you say on the show? Same thing. How Same much thing. Is, yeah, how yeah, much yeah, is yeah. He, if you see Pray Love, he said $3,000. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I think it might be the funniest thing you've ever said. To me. <laughs> because it was so thought out. It was so... You could understand the amount. It just, on every level, yeah. it just made sense. <laughs> so you have... Like, uh, but the question... The question you should have asked me was, <laughs> how much would it take you to read the book? <laughs> I, well, I'm asking you now. Think about it. You'll have to talk to them for a while. Okay. Um, see, these are the, this, we, do, we bet and we do this, and then I get a, you know, a, a, a good answer. Um, you, you know what? I, what? That's so much more of a commitment. Yes. Oh my God. How big is the book? How big is the book? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, I think it's, or maybe, I don't know. Is it, four, oh. is it 400 pages, do you think? No. 300? Yeah, 300 ish. Yeah. I love that voice. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, yeah, three hundred ish. That's that's a commitment, my friend. Oh right, wait, I'm going to add stuff. Ready? Uh, yeah. You got to read it while your neighbors are playing Gershwin. <laughs> Hold on, and you have to be standing in your pool. Oh, that would be a lot of cash. Yeah. I know. So yeah. tell me the amount. Think about it. Well, let's forget the pool factor because that's too silly. The other thing is possible. Nothing's possible. I'm not going to stand in the pool and read the book, okay? <laughs> How about a mermaid holds it up for you? I just get more absurd. No, okay. So no pool, just on the couch. But you're, the neighbors are listening to Gershwin, though. Honest to God, it's a lot of money. All right, no music in the neighbor. It's a lot of money. Yeah. More than 10000 Yes. More than 25000 All right, you know, we're getting into an uncomfortable area of money now. I really, I really don't want to talk about it because I, I, I am, you know, fortunate in that regard that I do have some money, but... Um, what well, do we do? Play the game yeah. where you're broke. Yes. But we're playing that you're who you are now. Because the broke one's not as funny because you do shit for very cheap. Yeah. 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 And every week go, you're broke. You go, eh, $10. Huh. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, good meal. <laughs> All right, so what I'd like to do now, I'm sure that you probably have some questions for uh, Larry, and uh, uh, he'll, he will answer them. And, and you, you know, I, 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 just from your seat, raise your hand, I'll ask you, and I'll repeat it. Yeah, yes. Uh, Larry, what's one of your all-time favorite TV shows? If you didn't hear in the back, what's one of Larry's all-time favorite TV shows? I know the answers. My all-time favorite TV show is... Um, Bilko, Sergeant Bilko. Sergeant Bilko, yes. It's a show from the 50s. Um, Which is now on DVD. It's on DVD. Yes, they can see it. And it's, it holds up. It's fantastic. What's amazing about yeah. this show, it's a guy, the guy, it was written by a guy named Nat Hyken, um, who uh, also wrote Car 54, Where Are You? Yeah. Um, and um, the, the, the TV show. He's the only other person besides Larry. You know how on Curb it sort of starts like all these different directions and they cross and then they all meet up at the end? The only other show that I can say that about pretty much is Bilko. So if you like that vibe, uh, Nat Hyken did that. Yeah, so. yeah it's just, yeah. just a hilarious show. So, uh, starring a bald man, by the way. <laughs> Phil bald Silvers. Bald man with glasses, yeah. Yeah, bald man with glasses, yeah. Phil Silvers. I can see a lot. Any hour shows? Have you watched any lately? Anything you like? On television? Yeah. There's a new show on BBC America called The Hour. It's really good. Uh, okay. <laughs> My uh, problem is I never know when anything's on. Yeah, that's true. You know? But I, what I do is... is I've I, missed the great, great shows not knowing when they were on. But I get them. I watch everything on iTunes. And, and by the time everybody... I download seasons. Yeah. See, you, I, I can't... Do you an iPad now? I, 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 yes. I, yeah. But you can download them. You can, have, you can download them. I can't, I'll do it for I can't you start from the beginning of a series. It's just too much. But what if it's the first season? I can't, I can't do it. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Like, like I know there are great shows that I've The missed. Wire we've talked about. The, the, the Wire, I hear, is an amazing show. Yeah, but how many show. times have we talked about The Wire yeah, in front of you on the show? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I know Mad Men is a great show. Which, right. But I can't go back to, to square <laughs> but one. But you with Mad Men, though, one all thing the you shows. do enjoy about Mad Men is the theme song. Oh, yeah. You just walk around going, da 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 You can do that. It just makes me laugh yeah, whenever yeah, you're yeah. doing that. Okay, another question. Yes. Have you ever been to Israel or have you been invited to go to Israel? My God, no! <laughs> Been there. I've never been to Israel. The show is huge there, gigantic. I know. I know. I, I, I would like to go sometime if I if I didn't have to do the fourteen hours on the plane. <laughs> if I could just materialize there, it would be great. And maybe I'll live long enough where you can materialize. I performed uh, for Israel's uh, an anniversary for Israel recently. 60th, okay. And in the front row was Ely Wiesel. And I was doing stand-up. I was hired at this event to do stand-up. And Ely Wiesel, from the front row, is looking at me like this the whole time. 
I, I'm just shaking my head no for people listening. Yeah. So anyhow, it was a disaster, yeah. to say the least. And then I said, someone said, have you ever been to Israel? And I said, no, I, I don't want to go. And the reason I didn't want to go was the long flight. I yeah. don't want to be on the yeah. long flight. Yeah. You know, so. But, 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 but you know, I it, materials, it, I, I go too. It, yeah. it, it is interesting, though, how a lot of uh, when Jews, when they approach me sometimes, they go, hey, I'm a Jew. <laughs> I'm a Lanzmann, you know. <laughs> Congratulations. That's what I yeah. say every time. Good for you. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. What are you supposed to say yeah. to that? Oh, God, I can tell you all my secrets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right there. What's your favorite holiday and why? <laughs> what is your favorite holiday and why? First, let me think about the ones that I hate. <laughs> are there any that you just hate, like, beyond oh, belief? I hate Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I hate July 4th. <laughs> I detest Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hate New Year's. I hate Christmas. Yeah. Do you like Purim? Uh, Valentine's Day. I, I'd, like Purim? To, I'd like to take a shit on Valentine's Day. Uh, um, is there anything left? Purim. Uh, Purim comes and goes without me knowing about it. I, 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 hate, I hate the high holy days. Passover. Passover. I suppose, you know, before I had kids, I didn't mind Easter. <laughs> I don't mind Memorial Day. I don't mind that. I don't seem to mind Columbus Day. When I lived in New York, I hated St. Patrick's Day. Um, but th I, I think that's about it, yeah. All right. Isn't, so there's none that I actually love. Uh, yeah, right in front, go ahead. Who is your dream girl and why? Who is your dream girl and why? What does that mean? <laughs> That's like a Seventeen magazine. Yeah. <laughs> or Tiger Beat. Yeah. Tiger Beat asked Larry, I would love yeah. for you to be in Tiger Beat. <laughs> Just a whole profile of you being you and Tiger Beat with their questions. Oh, would that be awesome? <laughs> that would be great, man. I don't, I don't know Tiger Beat. It's the same, like 16, <laughs> Tiger Beat, same thing, yeah. Oh, jeez, I don't know Tiger Beat. Yeah. What's your favorite type of bagel? <laughs> Wait. Do you, do you have a favorite? That is not a bad question. Okay. That is not a bad question at all. I do not mind that question in the least. Well, your favorite bagel, what is it? You know, there was a there was a moment in time, that, and I was shocked that I actually liked it. But there was a moment in time, very briefly, it lasted a, a couple of weeks at the most, where the everything bagel was 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 doing it. Yeah, it that's never worked for me. It's too much. And it, no, it came and went. It came and went. And uh, now, now I guess. I guess I'm going, I guess I'm going sesame. I have maintained a consistency of poppy my whole life. By the way, I, I, I will rotate poppy and sesame, yeah. I will rotate, yeah. Um, someone in the back, yeah, in the middle, That's in the, the back. Question. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you, go. Do you have any advice for young, young balding people like him? My, by the way, not advice for a young balding man, yeah. but people in general. <laughs> young balding, which can include young ladies who've got a problem. Yes. Young balding people in general. So don't be specific. <laughs> well, you know, I was um, too old for the, great for the great transplant technology that they have today. 
Do they? Do you think it's good? Oh, I mean, you can see them. Oh no, 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 no! You've seen some good ones. It's. I've, I've never seen, seen a good one. I've yes. You've seen them, but you don't know it, because they're good. Is there someone that I know, that we know, that has a festival that I, I don't know? I, I wouldn't say it, but yes, yeah. Really? Yes. Wow, okay. Because generally you can spot those a mile away. Yeah. I, I had a but neighbor once... they really do the, very, very nice nice work now. Really? I, I've, I've looked at those commercials, you know, I go, hey. The, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's too late for me. I suppose, I suppose if I was in my 20s and, uh, and maybe all of a sudden I was starting to lose it up here and a little here, I, I might have thought about it, you know, if they have today's technology. But when I was doing it, they, they had nothing, you know. And you didn't want to mess with things? No. Have you ever overcompensated with a beard? <laughs> no. I, 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 no. You've I, never had a beard? I, no, only in, you know, way on a summer vacation. I grew it for, a, you know, two weeks or something. But that's it. I, I, I Was that recently or a long time ago? No, they're not ago? funny. They're not funny beards. They're not funny. I, I don't find them funny. They're, oh, yes, it's so pretentious. Well, I suppose if you're a professor and you're thinking no, and you're doing every, every comedian who has a beard is stroking the beard. They're stroking the beard. I, they're, they're talking and they're stroking the beard. You know, I, I don't like it. All right. Yeah. I don't think they're Back. funny. I don't Last think beards row. are funny. Yes. <clears throat> I was watching the very first Kirby Enthusiasm the other night and you had, um, you had kids. Kids, and, yeah. And can you talk a little bit about that? How, how, what it was like going from being a writer and then being on camera and then and also how you met Jeff. You're stuffing a lot in there, aren't you? <laughs> I know, it's like, it's like everything. You stuffed it in. And do you, have you ever been in the old what's collectible area? Because I'd like to know if you have any spurs for sale. I, I would say this. Um, yes, on, the, on the, uh, the special, it wasn't even a pilot because... It turned into a pilot. It turned into a pilot, it, yeah. but it wasn't, it wasn't done with the intent of doing more. It was just yeah. a one-shot deal. But so, I did tell you that you did say to me, which you did not remember, the very first day when we were filming at HBO and we just did, did the gum scene uh, of us, you and I, waiting to go and we're doing the walk down the hallway, which I don't remember what happened, but you just stopped me and went, wouldn't this be great to do as a series every week? And of course my reaction was, yeah, Larry David and I are going to do a series every week. Who said that, me? You said that to me. I did? Yep, yep, you were having so much fun. Um, first day. But, answer, let, let me answer uh, the question. Okay. Um, mine, move. there was no question. Oh, mine. about the kids. It's mine was a reminiscence. Yes, yours was a reminiscence. It was about the kids. So, after it got picked up to be a series, you know, I realized, oh, we're always going to have to be accounting for these kids. <laughs> oh, well, what, what about the kids? You know, we can't go out at night. We'd have to have a line in the restaurant. Hey, uh, how are the kids? You know? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to deal with it. And then, to tell you the truth, I didn't want to show myself as a father because, I, again, I didn't think that was funny. You know, I didn't want to be mm -hmm. a father. I thought that would skew the character too much. It would I, make him... I think comedically... It would make him too uh, human. I think... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want that. You know, I, I think comedically, the comedian that you're closest to that if they ever wanted to remake his movies you're the only person that I would ever suggest doing it is W.C. Fields because I think you and a little kid is just funny as shit man that is hardcore funny you being annoyed with a kid fantastic that magician kid who's gone on to do some he just was in Friday oh yeah Anton yeah. Anton yeah yeah Man, you having yeah. your dealings with him? Yeah, now you listen to me, Fantastic. Superman. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. yeah. Yeah, he was great. He was, yeah. Um, I forgot the other parts to that question. How did you, you meet Jeff? How did we meet? Yeah, like, where's the first time you saw Jeff? Oh, we, we met in a uh, Catch a Rising Star in New York years ago, in a comedy club. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can I answer that? Go ahead. Yeah. He put no thought into me whatsoever. He just knew he didn't hate me. Yeah. 
Because I, he said hello to me when you saw me. Yes, I didn't hate him. So he, yeah. he liked me well enough, but it wasn't like a big thought process. That I know they could do. Because if you hated me, I'd never even, like, you know, you'd yeah. never even acknowledge it would be different. Yeah. I, I seem to remember liking you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Along those lines, do you generally like the people you work with, or do they annoy you? Do you generally like the people uh, you work with, or do they annoy you? No. I mean, 95%. I like. 98, I, I mean, who, who don't I like? I was about to say to you, you're like you're doing 95%. Who are you talking yeah. about? Are you, are you talking about the regulars or? Uh, well, all the regulars are. are, are Occasionally yeah. we get a yeah. guest person that once they get on the set, their behavior uh, makes us. Occasionally us somebody will get on our nerves, very rarely. By the way, you know, yeah. they get on my nerves quicker than anybody. Much quicker than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just go over yeah. and go, I hate them. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying who, right. but if it happens. Two or three times a season where I go, keep them away from yeah. me. Oh, my God. But in terms of, uh, of the regulars who we have on every week, no. We get along. No, we, we, we do get along great. Yeah. Um, someone back over there. Anyone Orange Whip? Are you? Say, uh, you have any good recommendations from all the uh, Turner Classic movies you've been watching? Any recommendations from Turner Classic movies? Oh. I saw... Uh, I saw a good one with Cary Grant. <laughs> if you describe it, I can tell you maybe what movie it was. He was, um, he was an angel. Uh-huh. What was it? <laughs> I mean, Mr. It's a wonderful life. No, The Bishop's Wife. The Bishop's Wife. That was good, yeah. The not even in yeah. that. The, yeah, the Bishop's Wife. Yeah, yeah, that was very yeah, good. Yeah, 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 I enjoyed that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how about, yeah, right there. Go ahead. <laughs> but that'd be really funny because you have a favorite side photo so he just goes, yes. <laughs> and he I didn't say which, which one. Which one's yeah. He said yeah. which one's But, but do, you, do, you, do you have a favorite side film? Boy, it's been a long time since I've given thought to that one. Um, you know, I, I, there's a couple that I really loved. I love the, the one, uh, I, the contest, obviously. Um... <laughs> Only because I, I never thought we'd get to do it. Right. You know, that, it was a shock to me that NBC put that show on at 9 o'clock at night. I mean, I was shocked. And by the way, I was prepared to quit if they didn't put it on. <laughs> that might have been the reason that they... I, because you've taught me, by the yeah. way, that you have to either just say, fire me or right. do it this way or I'm out. You know, usually we have the titles of the shows up on the board. Uh, uh, we have this board in my office, uh, my office with Jerry, and we have the titles up on the board. And I wouldn't even put the title up because a after read-throughs, the NBC executives would come in and they go, oh, what's, what's that one? And, you know, and then you go, oh, well, that's about this and that. So I didn't even want to put it up on, on the board because I didn't want them to ask. Because I knew they would put the kibosh on it immediately. So then we had the, uh, the read-through. And they all came to the read-through, and, and I had worked myself up into a lather, you know, <laughs> that this is it. I'm quitting. I'm quitting the show. I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit. I'm done. It's over. Uh, you know, if they don't if they don't do the show exactly as it is. I'm leaving. And they came into the office, and they didn't say a word. You know, they didn't say anything. I was I was stunned, stunned. And, and they did it exactly as it was. I'm surprised the puffy shirt got on the air. <laughs> but that's another one of my favorite shows, yeah. the puffy shirt. And, and the, the Keith Hernandez show I loved. Um, you know which one turned me and like made me like, a, I always liked it. It was very early on. But it, where I went, this is one of the greatest shows of all time was uh, the air conditioning uh, in the apartment with the pen. The pen, Jerry. Oh, the pen, yeah. Yeah, the yeah pen. that pen's definitely one of my but favorite no, but, but shows. But that's one, that's one, because yeah. that was like the second season, maybe? Very early, yeah. that was like, yeah, 91, yeah, 92, and so, yeah. Yeah, but that was the one where I watched it and I went, this is one of my favorite all-time shows. I can't believe yeah, how I great this the is. Yeah, I love the pen episode, yeah. yeah. The pen, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> take your pen, take it! <laughs> take the pen, Jerry! <laughs> All right, I'll take the pen. <laughs> and then why did you take his pen? Yeah, why did you take his pen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, that was tremendous, man. That was really, oh, God. So, um, one more. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, obviously you're well known for having sort of a basic storyline, and then you, you let the actors create a lot of it on the go, but uh, which characters in the show would you say really surprised you with just how good they were, and you know, therefore they rose to a lot greater prominence as a character than you originally invented? Who, so he's basically asking you, who rose to a degree of prominence that you had not intended? <laughs> Like, is there, a, is there a character that you thought, this character's not so great, and then boom diggity. <laughs> but I do know the answer to that, I think yeah. I know, is JB. Uh, you're unexpected that he would be... No, he was, he was great when he auditioned, but who the hell knew he'd become he, he, he this? Was, he was great when he auditioned, and then... And then, like, a genius showed up on the set. Yeah. No, you it know? was crazy. I mean, when he auditioned... I remember the audition scene. Um, he's, he's supposed to be sitting at the kitchen table, and I'm supposed to call, I'm supposed to go, hey, Leon, could you come here for a second? And I, I forget why I was calling him over. It was the first show he was in. I forget why I was calling him over. It was about, oh, shit, I can't remember. But anyway, so I go, hey, hey Leon, this is, the, this is the audition. And he looks at me and he goes, You know that? Yeah. <laughs> and he just completely put me away before before he said a word. He had that part bef without saying a word, just with a look. Mm -hmm. He had that part, you know. He also came in a day early. Did he? He was. He came in a day. He could yeah. only come in the first day, and then the next day we had to sit and watch all these people. Uh, who were never going to be as good as him, you know? Yeah. He was, yeah. But he's, he's amazing. The, uh, our cast is amazing. I've been, you know, to get uncomedic for a second, uh, lucky, really lucky, casting both shows. Amazing. Don't you think? Most definitely. Yes. As, as, as one of the, yeah. 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 I mean, that's two, why I think two, oh, go ahead. two amazing casts like that. But yeah. that's why I think, and I know. And by the way, our the only person that really that you didn't say is going to be in it was Cheryl. Is the only person that auditioned with a bunch of other. I didn't audition for no, my part. No. Um, but Cheryl, you know, auditioned. She was great. And right. Really she was the you. only one really, really yeah. hung with you. Um, but um, but that also goes with saying. The hardest part, I think, of our job is our casting process. It's, you know, the least fun. It's like the most work that we put into because that's everything, yeah. getting the right people. It's grueling, yeah. It's, it truly is grueling. I mean, you know? it's not driving a cab, but, you know. <laughs> you, did, you did drive a cab, though, right? I did drive a cab, And you yeah. drove a limo. And I drove a limo, yeah. Limo's way easier than the cab, way easier. You know what's, what's great about this for me is I have hours ahead of me of asking you these questions, which is what I do all the time. I ask you these stupid ass questions. He's a very inquisitive young man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're hanging out and you always answer them honestly. And, I try and, to. Yeah, and, and tell me. But they don't get to see that. This is like a little glimpse into you and I having a conversation, which you were a little worried about last week. Uh, we got to prepare something. You got to have some questions. I, I didn't know what he had in mind. He said, "We're going to come out on stage and have a conversation." I said, "What, what are we going to talk about?" Yeah. <laughs> what we talked about. Yeah. What we talk about. You know, and and I, I, it was. I think I liked it. I was happy, and I, they seemed to be happy. <laughs> I just want to say, in all, well, not that I'm an insincere guy. I'm not, um, but I appreciate you coming tonight, and I know you did it for me, this is not something you would be apt to do. Uh, uh, somebody would have to, I didn't, there was no guilt, I just asked you, because you know what I do? Yeah. I don't ask you for shit. No. I no. rarely have ever ask you for anything. Somebody just mentioning, you're like, yeah, all right, I'll do it, what, what, we can do it. Which is really nice. It, it was a favor. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it was, it was a favor, and I'm well aware of that, I know. But, but you know that when somebody does you a... Keep going, I'm... Go ahead, what? 
Let me take a picture. <laughs> really? You think I'm going to ruin that record now? <laughs> and you wouldn't know how to work this yeah. anyhow. It's not. So. Uh, but thank you, man. Hey, that you're was, And wait, by the way, was that fun? Did you enjoy? You enjoyed yourself. Can I, I tell you something? Yeah. Uh, it was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much.